Hi, this is Tracy H. Dean. I want to thank you for joining me today for our November 2022 tarot reading. And this is going to be for the sign of Leo, Sun, Moon, and Rising. And I am using the Black Rider Wade Smith deck. If you'd like to purchase this deck, you could click on the link in the description box down below. That will take you straight to Amazon to purchase it. As I shuffle the deck, I'm asking all light beings, angels, and God, please relay the message I need to share with my viewers, the highest good of all. At the beginning of the month, I'm going to take the top card. Middle of the month, I'm going to take a card from the center. And the end of the month, I'm going to take a card from the bottom. Okay, so we begin the month with the King of Pentacles. Okay, this may be the energy in the beginning of the month that you're feeling, or this may be a person that you're going to be dealing with. This could be Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Or this may be the energy, the personality that you're going to need to take on in the beginning of the month. This person is very stable, although they could be stubborn. They're a hardworking person who has achieved financial and emotional stability. Um, this is a person that's, you know, no nonsense. Um, most likely they are someone maybe that could be working in the banking industry, financial industry. Um, whatever it is, this energy in the beginning of the month is a very grounded, grounded energy. Uh, with this type of king. Um, you could be, like I said, dealing with someone like this in the beginning of the month. And like I said, they could be very stubborn, okay? But then by the same token, they could be very generous too. They could be very blunt and to the point. They don't sugarcoat anything. Um, and they could also be very materialistic, okay? And this may be telling you, you know, to be wise with your money too, because this person is never... Uh, the kind of person that spends money frivolously. They, they've worked very hard for their money, okay? And they carefully purchase things and they make sure they take care of things. They don't buy anything in haste. So maybe you're purchasing something in the beginning of the month that you're going to have to weigh the pros and cons before you, you know, spend your hard-earned money. And then in the middle of the month, we have the Ten of Pentacles. Well, the Tens are completion, Okay, so you've achieved some types of financial stability by the middle of the month. Okay, and this is for your own doing. I mean, you've worked very hard. Okay, and now you have something to show for it. Uh, maybe you were waiting uh, for something to, to materialize. And, and, you know, here it is. You're feeling uh, very, very uh, stable as far as your family, too. You're feeling very financially secure. And I like how these two blend in together, the King of Pentacles and, and the Ten of Pentacles, because they're perfect. Okay. Um, your home and family security is, you know, indicated here. Um, you know, maybe you're uh, buying a home. Uh, maybe you're buying some major material possession or, or maybe something is being uh, passed on to you. This could be maybe an inheritance coming through for some of you, maybe a trust or a will. Uh, or maybe some type of an insurance policy that's going to pay off. Um, but, you know, sometimes inheritances are indicated by this card. Or maybe some large sum of money or an increase in your finances is going to be taking uh, place in the middle of the month. And then at the end of the month, you have a decision to make. This is the Two of Swords. And you're in a deadlock. You're at a stalemate. You cannot decide. And just remember that, you know, sometimes when we're at a stalemate like this and we're stuck, maybe we need to look at the situation from a different angle, from a different perspective. Maybe we need to do our homework on whatever options or decision we need to make before we make that decision. Because don't forget, if you don't make a decision, you might miss out on an opportunity because even if you choose not to decide, you still have made a choice as far as the universe is concerned. So you're better off making a decision on your own to take part in your own destiny. Very interesting month for you. Stable, content, perfect. And then you'll get through this at the end of the month. Just make sure you choose carefully and wisely. If you've enjoyed this reading, please like it by giving it a thumbs up, share it, and above all, subscribe because I will be back with more.